So, Lila, have you ever dived into the mystical world of zodiac signs? I find them quite fascinating, especially when comparing them to the folklore of my homeland. Actually, I have a bit. The zodiac is pretty interesting. What's your sign, Etta? I'm a Gemini. They say we're like the wind, ever-changing and impossible to catch. It's quite fitting, don't you think? Definitely. Geminis are known for their wit and love for conversation. You're always full of stories. It's like listening to a captivating book. Exactly. And being a Gemini, I'm naturally curious. It's like having an insatiable thirst for the stories woven into the fabric of every culture, including the icy tales of my own. I've read that Geminis are adaptable, able to blend into different groups and situations easily. Must be handy in your travels and when meeting new people. It is, indeed. But it also means I'm a bit of a shapeshifter, never quite the same person twice. Like the ever-changing landscapes of Iceland, from the ice to the volcanic fire. And what about the other side of Gemini? They say you can be indecisive. Does that ever clash with your adventurous spirit? Sometimes, yes. It's like standing at a crossroads. One path leading into a blizzard, the other into a warm, sunny day. Both are enticing for different reasons. I guess it keeps life interesting, though. Always a new adventure, a new story to tell. Absolutely. And speaking of stories, I'd love to hear more about your sign. Perhaps there's a tale there waiting to be told. Well, I'm a Scorpio. We're known for our passion and determination, much like your love for the Icelandic wilderness. Ah, Scorpios. The deep waters to Gemini's breezy air. I've always admired your intensity and depth. It must be like navigating the deepest fjords of my homeland. It can be, but there's beauty in the depths, much like the beauty you find in the frost and mist of Iceland. Indeed. The world is full of stories, each zodiac sign a different chapter. And together, they create a magnificent tale.